Hey everyone, um, if you can see, please ignore my extremely messy room. I've been extremely stressed out since I got home, and, or well, since I got back to Clemson, and I don't have time to clean it. Well, I do, but I just don't feel like it. <laughs> and I'd rather video vlog to you guys. Anyway, so I had a history test this morning, and I just had to tell you all this because it's hilarious, and well, to us. So I'm sitting there writing. I was talking about how the artist really loved himself and that he wanted other people to know who he was. And so a lot of his artwork was kind of like, you know, this is me, this is here. And I actually wrote the sentence, I am Klein, I am here. And if you get that, it's really funny and you should be laughing. And if you don't get it, then insert Aladdin where Klein is. <laughs> or as Julius would say, WHERE'S MY WEAVE?! <laughs> I'm sorry. It made me laugh during my test, and, and after that I ended up turning in the paper, but I thought it was really funny, because I definitely wrote that until I thought of all of you. <laughs> um, let's see. Julius, I'm so glad to see you on the camera! Yay! Hey, Drona, where are you? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while, and I know I've been kind of absent, too, because of the whole going home thing, and then uh, when I got back, I had way too much to work on. Um, let's see, Danae, I hope you feel better so I can see your face soon, and Jackie, I hope your your computer, well, your internet works well enough to finally get up a video, because I want to see you, too. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for, it, like, personal. <laughs> um... Oh, that history test, I totally bombed it. <laughs> um, that was pretty much the only interesting fact about it. I did get all of the uh, the identification right. We had to identify works of art and their artist and the date, and I believe I got all three of them right for every single one, which was, there were ten identifications. And then the essay question, um, I really didn't understand the essay question, and the thing is we had time to prepare, but I really wasn't prepared because I only studied two hours last night. Because I, um, I got back into Clemson yesterday about 4 o'clock, and my class starts at 4 p.m. Uh, this is yesterday's, my yesterday's class. And I didn't go to class, obviously. And instead I stayed home and I studied, but I also had to do stuff for my geography class. I got all that done. Um, so I managed to get everything done yesterday, but I didn't get a lot of studying in. I studied some more this morning, and then I went to class. Well... Right before class, um, my phone dropped. <laughs> anyway, um, it works, it dials out, it does mostly everything that it originally did, even the camera still works, even though it drops, like, straight on the camera part. The only problem is it thinks that it's open the whole time, so it won't come up my front screen, I can't use my touchpad or anything like that, so, um, I was really upset, and I went to my test anyway, obviously, I wasn't going to skip it, um, but right afterwards I went straight to town to hopefully get it fixed. Well, they couldn't fix it, and I was basically in tears the whole time, because I love this phone, you guys. Like, this is my favorite phone ever, ever that I've ever had. I love it. It matches with everything. It's my favorite, and I don't want to lose it. Um... And, I mean, they still have the models and everything like that, so I can get another phone the exact model. The problem is this phone costs, like, $130, and that's a little much to spend on a phone. Um, I get a $50 rebate, which cuts it down to about 90 with the activation fee and blah, 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 boring crap. Anyway, but at the same time, I don't know if I really need to spend that much money, uh, but I have to get my phone fixed. And so I ended up getting frustrated, and I left because there's some things that I have to take care of um, with my parents first. I drove back, and I went to class, my other class, so I skipped a class in between, weird. Anyway, it was my drugs class, I'm not worried about it. And then I went back to class, well right after that I had to drive straight to my friend's place, pick her up, we drove out in the boonies to Pickens to go to a CPR class. Um, well, we left that, I brought my friend home, uh, and then we, and then I came back here, and I ate, because I hadn't eaten since 2 o'clock today, and I didn't get to eat until I got home from class, which was, like, 10 p.m., and you can imagine, I was, exa I was, um, hungry, <laughs> I'm exhausted right now, um, and I really should be working on my French, but I really don't feel like it, I kind of just want to go to sleep, and 
instead I'm making a video because I missed all of you so much and <laughs> and so I'm making a video. <laughs> okay, well, um, enough procrastinating. I really need to go to bed now. <laughs> or not bed, but I actually need to do something. I don't necessarily have to go to bed. It's only it's only midnight. Anyway, but I do have until I have to take a shower. Um so, oh, uh, Julius, yes to the how and mo thing. I think that would be awesome. Um, send them around. <laughs> I don't really know any landmarks that are around here. I may just take them to the stadium, or if we happen to go to, like, Greenville or something, I can find something interesting. I don't know. Um, there's nothing interesting at all about up here. <laughs> if I was in Charleston, it's different. There's a ton of interesting, cool things that I could go do, except when you're not a tourist, you really don't go to these places. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, well, I think that is about it, and uh, I'm losing focus because I ran out of lists on my on my post-it, and I'm also really tired, <laughs> if you can't tell from the droopy eyes. Um, I will talk to all of you later, and I'm hoping to see all your gorgeous faces on my YouTube soon. Bye. Isabel, what are you doing? Isabel! Don't meow at me, you booger. <laughs> Isabel, what are you doing?